All right, folks, today is Monday, June 3rd, 2024, and welcome back to the monthly investing adventure. So this adventure is where I do a live trade at the first of the month or as close as possible to the first into a stock portfolio that you can follow along. So at the end of May, we ended at about 4450. This is before contributions or a market change for today. Uh, and if you look at this portfolio here, it's uh, basically a 70% stock portfolio, 20% bond, and then 10% commodity, which is uh, the gold piece. The stock portion is divided equally in half with a half going to large cap growth. I'm using the NASDAQ 100, which is the QQQ, and then half is in small cap value as represented by AVUV. You're welcome to use any other small cap value ETFs that you want or any large cap growth um, that you want. You can even use a total market or an S&P 500 for this portion, and it should be roughly the same. This 20% in GOVT, which is government bonds, is uh, an intermediate uh, bond allocation. And uh, this is the allocation that I settle on for building wealth while keeping the day-to-day, month-to-month uh, movements in the portfolio to a minimum. That's why you see some commodities and some bonds in there. And I actually think it works really well even if you're young to accumulate wealth. So this is a good portfolio. Let's go ahead and just jump into uh, the portfolio on Fidelity and take a look at it. So here we are, we have our $275 contribution. So we started this portfolio by saying that we were going to invest $250 a month. And then after the turn of the uh, a year, uh, I increased that contribution by 10%, so it's 275 that we're adding each month in 2024. You can see that the allocations is roughly in line with uh, what I show for the portfolio. The reason it's a little lower is that we do have that contribution, but otherwise it's roughly half and half into uh, the two stock allocation, a fifth of it into that bond, and then 10% into gold. So we're gonna go ahead and make our buys uh, into the portfolio using that 275. And for that, I'm going to use Fidelity's trading dashboard, which you can get over uh, under accounts and trade and going to trading dashboard. So I'm using the trading dashboard because I like uh, the interface and how quickly it works. I'm not suggesting that you use it to trade. Um, although I think that's what uh, most people uh, use it for, or that's the intention from Fidelity that, that you should use it to, uh, to do trades. But uh, again, I don't do that, so take that uh, as you will. Let's go ahead and do a refresh on our data here because this uh, part of the sheet that I built to kind of track the portfolio, um, it also helps me to figure out how much I'm going to buy uh, into this portfolio with the contribution. So I'm gonna change my editing mode uh, from viewing to editing, and I'm just going to refresh the data just so that it grabs the latest prices um, for everything, and then we'll kind of take it from there. All right, so if you look at this, uh, the buy values is about $64 for the NASDAQ, about 57 for uh, small cap value, 117 for government bonds and the balance into gold. So let's go ahead and make our first trade, which is $64 into NASDAQ 100. So I'm gonna select NASDAQ 100. And there are no sell this month in terms of rebalancing the allocation, so it's all buys. So I'm gonna buy, and I'll make sure that I'm buying dollars at the market, and it's gonna be $64. I'll preview it and I'll get that placed. Next up is AVUV, which is our small cap value from Advantis. And again, we're gonna buy, make sure I'm buying dollars, I'll buy market, and it's 57. Get this preview and get that placed. Let me go ahead and check the last two. I think it's 117 and 37, uh, but just to be sure, so 117 and 37. So next up is government bonds, GOVT. I'm gonna buy dollars, market 117. 
Get this order placed. All right. Last but not least, we're going to buy the gold portion. And it should be about $30 or so. So let me make sure that uh, everything gets updated here. So I'm actually going to do a refresh before I go into uh, uh, the buy here for gold. So let me click refresh just to make sure that it gets updated. All right, so it's refresh. You can see that uh, so far we have bought $237, $238 um, into this. So the last one is gold. And I'm going to be a little bit more precise with this. I'm going to take my calculator out and uh, just do the math here. Just to make sure that we get everything. Because I don't want to have extra cash left over. It's not a huge deal. But... Um, I just don't like to have extra cash. So 38.87 is left. So I'm going to buy, do market, dollars, market, 37.87. Go ahead and preview the order. I'm going to get a warning for commodities and I'm going to place the order and uh, execute it. So now it is done. So everything is now up to date. Our portfolio is where it should be. If uh, I look at the percentages, now it's a lot closer to that 35, 35, 20, and 10, which is what we intended. So that's it for the monthly investing adventure for June 2024. Thanks for following along, and I will see you on the next one. Later.